Hey everybody, um, today we're going to be doing another small program, another C Sharp program. Uh, this will probably be one of the last, if not the last, programs that we make that's small and beginner wise. Uh, I'll probably be starting the intermediate ones soon where we go over objects and classes and all that where it gets technical but it'll be a lot cooler soon. Uh, anyways, once again, the download for C Sharp is right here, and it's going to be in the side part of my video. And I'd like you to subscribe. Remember that. Uh, so, open up your C Sharp, and this is what we, we will be making. Doesn't look like much now, but when you click that, something cool is going to happen, and I'll go over it shortly. So, let's, I'm going to go ahead and close this, discard it, and new project. Windows Forms application, call it 2 because it's chapter 2, uh, flashy thing, okay, because it's going to flash. Uh, so you got this here, I'm just going to resize it a little bit, put in a button right in the middle. Going to resize that as well. And let's go over here and change the text of the button. Let's go ahead and change the text to do it. Okay. Now I'm going to go up here and change the font so it looks cooler. I'm going to change the size to 10. I'm going to change the uh, bold to true. Okay. Now, so you got this form. Double click on the button. That brings up the code for the button. Um, okay, let's... We're going to be making a while loop and in this video I'm gonna go over more on for loops if none, if some of y'all didn't understand it from the last video they can get pretty annoying at first but trust me they'll get easier you may ask what visible means that means while the uh, the form is visible while the program is visible and it's still playing and on screen and everything and you haven't closed it sorry so that's why I just put in while visible um, now, let's create our for loop. We're going to be making two of them. What we're basically going to be doing is we're going to be making it so whenever you click this button, the background flashes to different colors. And they go through the whole color spectrum and then back over. And let me go ahead and put in a for loop. You're going to be creating an int. What a for loop does is you declare, uh, first you you declare something to start it out so whenever this for loop happens the initial value of C int C is 0 so that's what it starts out to be when this thing first runs now we're gonna do and now this is your uh, this is your check you perform a check in the second one uh, so now it checks if C is less than 254 and you have to put two and signs. The form is still visible. And now what you do at the end is uh, you tell what this... Uh, every time this for loop runs, this is what's going to happen. So it adds one to C. The in C. Go ahead and put in our curly brackets. Uh, I would encourage you to go watch my other videos if you haven't already. Because it does take some previous knowledge to go through this video. Not much, though. So. Okay, now we're going to do this dot back color. So it does uh, this form's back color is equal to color. Now we're going to go in and use a net uh, library, which is from a, a R G B. So that means uh, from R an R RGB is uh, the color combination for different colors. Like if you ever use Photoshop, um, a certain color combination may be 152 and that may be blue or something. And uh, that basically means one is red, two is green, and three uh, or five is green, and then two is blue. So there's five greens, two blues, and so on and so on. So now we're going to put in C, so it takes C, and then it does 255 minus C, 
makes the color cycle this way. You may ask why I put in C and then uh, I put in C at the end. Well, that's because I'm. Uh, that's because I'm basically stating that's going to use C as the color. It's going to use C as the color. Now, I'm going to go ahead and leave it at that for now. Now let's create our next for loop for cycling back through the colors. We want it to never end. Go ahead and put in C is equal to 254. So once it gets to 254, it'll go through a different process. So if C is greater than or equal to 0, because we don't want it going under. Um, and and visible. Now we'll make it C minus. Uh, so every time it, it loses a C value, it goes down one. Whoops. Okay. Now we'll do this. Dot. Whoops. Back color. Back color is the class for the um, background of the the form. By the way. Then we do color, which is a class for the for this form. Basically, that just states from RPG GB. Now we'll do C. Now we don't have to change uh, 255 because we already changed the C up here, so it'll just minus each time. We don't have to change this. Minus C C. Okay. So we'll leave it like that for now. Now we can go ahead and run our program. Looks like looks like it's good, right? Well, wrong. It actually won't run properly because it'll glitch up. Because right, basically the colors run through too fast and they keep going and going and going and it won't. It just won't stop and won't work at all, basically. So our mind's getting not responding. It's not responding. So I have to close it. The reason this is is because the program is running continuously and way too fast, and it's uh, my computer's trying to handle that one program all the time, and it's annoying it. So what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to slow it down. So in order to make my computer do other applications while this one is running and not uh, do use all the CPU to work on this program, I'm gonna do application dot do events that just makes it so all the other applications uh, do all their stuff while all this program is running we'll have to put that in for both of these just, oh, I'll go ahead and put it in the next line first now we're gonna make it so uh, it takes a little bit to transition to the next color so we're gonna do system dot threading dot thread dot sleep. That just puts in a pause basically between each one that it does. And we'll make it three, three milliseconds. Not very much, but it works. Now, just gonna copy that and put that behind this other for loop. There we go. Put it right in behind there. So we got the application doing the events and system threading thread sleep. Uh, all this is is making the system threading. I'm not sure about. I, I've never studied that, but it basically just does what I said it does. It just makes the system sleep for three milliseconds. It just pauses it basically. Okay, three milliseconds is very long though, so you can't notice much of it. So go ahead and run your form. Click on it and. All these colors start transitioning, and it's r pretty smooth now because we have the uh, sleep mechanism. And that is all we'll be going over today. Just another uh, crackdown tutorial on four loops. Also, if you only had the sleep thing and you didn't have this, it would still have a problem because whenever you uh, and if you didn't have this visible right here, then you would still have a problem. Because if you took the visible out, um, well, okay, let's take this visible out. 
Well, no. Uh, let, me, let me just explain. If you if you didn't have the visible and you had it running on something else, then whenever you closed the program, this stuff would still run, and the program would uh, like if you had while true, then it would just keep running, even when the program was closed. And whenever you debugged it and then you closed it, this thing would come back. It would just uh, act like the program was still running. You wouldn't be able to edit anything. It'd be pretty dangerous. So you need the visible. You need it. Um. Remember to subscribe and signing off.